Dude, it's on four tires. Holy crap. How's it going guys? Welcome back to the channel. Uh, last time you saw, we were about here. Everything is kind of shifted around, uh, but it's okay. Um, I've done a little bit of planning and thought off camera, as you can see with some steering. Uh, but for today's video, uh, we are going to be working on uh, the rear axle. If you missed last week's video, we mounted the engine plate and the body on the frame here um, so now we can start working back and hopefully by the end of the day we will have a rolling chassis um, I don't know if I covered this in the video when I bought this four-wheeler but it did not come with a uh, rear shock so I went ahead and ordered one of those and it's here and it is a lot bigger than the stock shock would have been uh, but it can also hold a lot more weight and it's got some adjustments so we're going to be using that and testing it out <clears throat> okay so first step here i'm going to snug up that bolt um, that way we retain our mounting position and distance and i'm going to try and cut in the same spot on each side uh, that way everything is as symmetrical as it can possibly be I might have to take the tires off in order to do this, um, but the cool thing is I measured it out and the swing arm um, is centered with the axle, so I'm not going to have to do any crazy weird offsets um, or anything like that, which makes my life a whole lot simpler. So I'm going to snug that bolt down, I'm going to make two or four cuts I guess it is, and then we'll go ahead and slide this over there and see how this goes. Steel tube across and get my level on there and see where we're at. Hey yeah, guys, check it out. So I got this mask, and uh, it's not to protect me from COVID. This is my work mask. That way when I'm welding or grinding, I'm not inhaling all the stuff that gets kicked up into the air. Um, because every time I come out here, I always have to go inside and blow my nose and a whole bunch of black stuff comes out. And I'm tired of it, so I'm just gonna prevent it. Because if there's stuff getting in my nose, there's definitely stuff getting in my lungs, and I just don't want that. So. I'll be wearing a mask whenever I cut and weld, especially when I sand. Um, so that's why I've been wearing a mask lately. It's not because there's COVID in my garage, because normally I'm the only one in here anyway. So, uh, back to work. All right, so we're gonna go with our first idea, testing out here, um, which is to simply just elevate the rear, the rear end. So, just gonna pick this up, 
until we hit. Ugh. And that angle is absolutely absurd. Absurd. <clears throat> so, with this uh, shock, goes in. Now, <clears throat> now shock has potential to rest on our frame here, but still likely we'll need to have a shock tower between our props. This is not really what I want. Holy damn, dude. Why's it got to rain? Okay, so here's the plan. We have our swing arm mounts here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do my best to kind of cut a straightish line here and then here. And then I'm just going to take this whole tab and mount it to the frame. Um, and then I'm going to do the same thing with this one. And I'm just going to I'm just going to mount these right to our frame. I'm not going to bother with these like I thought about originally. Uh, but what I'm going to do first is bolt them to the swing arm itself, um, and then I'm going to get it as square as I can. I'm going to put a drop line in. Um, this is just the pin for the shock. But I'm going to put uh, basically a piece of string with a weight on the center of our frame. And then I'm going to, I have a mark for the center of the swing arm uh, where we need to be. And then hopefully uh, those points will cross and then we can go ahead and tack our stuff in place. Alright guys, so I got our tabs one and two in. I am going to come in here and support this like around the bottom and probably up here. Just add in some bracing because uh, I, I think it will hold but I don't know how much I actually trust just being here. So I'm just going to go ahead and like frame it and give it that extra support. Um, it should, I mean it might be enough, I don't know, but I really don't want to uh, test and find out the hard way considering that's a structural piece. Uh, but those are tacked in. I have my uh, swing arm and axle on the floor now. That way I can get in here with an angle grinder, clean everything up a little bit more. That way I can get some better welds on there and I can figure out the bracing. And I also want to make sure that the uh, pivot bolt came out. So I'm gonna put the pivot bolt back in just to hold square and then I'm gonna figure out some bracing. Um, and then I'll come back to you guys and show you what I did. All right, so I have the rear axle bolted in and I have the gas tank and then I'm gonna have a bracket here uh, for the gas tank mount. Uh, that way everything that's in the way is pretty much in the way of this shock. All right, so coming over here to where we have not much left of a frame, but enough left of a frame that I can still salvage parts. Now this little U right here is about what we need right here. So rather than fabricate a U shape, I'm just gonna steal it off of that frame and then we'll weld it in to here. And this should work fairly well, I think. And then, um, here it is. We have our other shock mount here, which I believe this tube is just a sh tiny little bit bigger. Yeah, so this tube slides over the tube that we're gonna use, which means if I cut it in half like this, this should be able to slide over and I can get a weld all the way around it. And this will be just as strong as if it were welded to the solid tube like it was here. All right, I have our rear piece cut, our little tail piece, and 
it looks like just having this thing sit where it wants to, which is like level here and then it swoops up, it's gonna be the perfect way to mount our shock. Um, and that's freaking awesome. So, what we can do is go ahead, clean up these edges, and I'll just add a little bit of a notch. I mean, there doesn't have to be a huge notch. Come on, there you go. I mean, they're not that far off. I think I can get that with the angle grinder. And then up here, this tab, here, if I cut it like I said, should space this out just enough to where we want the shock to be. So it's going to sit here, and the shock should just fall right in that hole, which will be perfect. So I'll go ahead and cut it where it wants to kind of go, and we will be looking hella nice. All right, so I have our first piece uh, tacked on. It's tacked on pretty good. I could probably pick up the whole thing by it, but we're not gonna do that. Uh, so what I'm gonna do now is take our mounting piece. If I can figure out where I put it. Oh, it's right here. So I'm gonna take our mounting piece here and slide it on with a little pin. Actually, let me do that on camera. So I'm just using these little bolts. They're way smaller than they should be. Uh, but they act as good guide pins. So now I can see where my shock wants to go. And I can twist and turn it however it needs to be in order to get a good weld on there. So I think I'm going to weld this side first since it's got a good tolerance. And then I'll use the hammer and tap this one into place. Uh, but overall, should be a nice weld and our shock will be in position and ready uh, ready to go. Today is the day that the racing lawnmower sits 100% on four wheels. I really hope my tack weld hold. All right, main support is out. I'm gonna set it down gently. Guys, there's nothing holding this thing up except the wheels. So I'm gonna just give it a couple pushes. So it's a little soft. I'm gonna go ahead and stiffen it up. Um, but guys, it's, it's on the ground. Like this is a milestone. All right. Well, I set out to do what I was going to do in this video. And that was get the, get the rear axle under this thing with the shock mount on or the shock mounted up. And, uh, we did that. So. That's going to finish up this video here, guys. Next episode, we are going to tackle the steering system. And we're also going to see if we can't make this shock a little bit, uh, a little bit more heavy rider friendly. Uh, but thank you guys so much for watching. If you made it all the way to the end of this video, please drop a comment down below and share with one of your friends. Um, I post every single Friday at around noon. Uh, and I'm trying to be really good at that. I'm trying to get better at posting consistently. Uh, but thank you guys so much for watching this video. I will see you in the next one. Peace out and God bless. I forgot what I said. Oh, it's on weight, dude. Oh my God. Dude, it's on four tires. Holy crap. This is insane. I don't care if the shock is not what it needs to be. This is still freaking insane to be at this point. Oh my god.
Dude, this is awesome. I am so happy right now. This is awesome. This is being awesome, dude.